I have mixed feelings about Think or Sink. The animation is not pleasant, but the message is pretty great. This is a famous studios cartoon from 1967. It's actually one of four Merry Makers cartoons, and there are only four cartoons in that series, two of which, Halt Who Grows There and From Orbit to Orbit, are lost cartoons. But to be honest, if they're anything like this, I don't think we'd be missing out on much. If I'd seen this cartoon and I didn't know it was released in 1967, I would have said this is an early 30s cartoon, early, early 30s cartoon, because it is so simple. And that's not to say simple cartoons can't be good, but I feel like Famous Studios in the 1960s had a lot of skills and resources to do something much better, and I just didn't find it to be very pleasing. However, as I said, we do have a great message. The cartoon is directed by Seamus Culhane and Al Eugster. It's written by James Tyre with a voice cast including Will Jordan and Lionel Wilson. And this is a story about Roscoe the Elephant. And Roscoe the Elephant believes he can walk on water, stand on water, so he can. He stands on water. And his friend drags him to a psychiatrist. And I have to say the character of the psychiatrist I rather like. I thought he was uh, a pretty interesting character. Constantly asking for a coin, please, I thought was very, very entertaining. And that bit did work quite well. And he basically explained that the reason Roscoe can walk on water is because he believes he can. And he trusts his mind. And the second you distrust or you stop believing that you can do something, it stops being possible. And we see this in the cartoon. And I don't, I won't say exactly how they demonstrate this, but it's very well done. It's very very clear the message that they're trying to get across. And I think that that's beautiful. Obviously, there is a line. If you believe something, it doesn't necessarily mean you can do it. But if you believe you can do it, you are more likely to succeed because the power of positive thought is, is pretty strong. And I think that that's a brilliant message. I think I, as a self-confessed pessimist, I do need to start being more positive about everything. It's an unusual situation to be in where I'm determined to reach every goal possible, but constantly thinking that I can't do anything. And I know I'm not the only person who feels like that. There are many, many people in a similar position. And I feel like if you are one of those people, give this a watch, because I think it will it will really be beneficial with the message that if you just believe, it will be significantly more possible. But it's not just that if you believe it's possible, it's more if you don't believe and if you don't trust what your mind is capable of, then things will not work out. And if you are a pessimist, then trying to just see things to avoid those pessimistic situations can be really beneficial as well. So it's not just about the positive outcomes, but also about avoiding the negative outcomes. So whichever way you prefer to look at it, I think there is something interesting to take away from this. The characters are, are interesting enough. We have the rat and the elephant, then the psychiatrist. They're absolutely fine. But the animation is not pleasing. It's not satisfying. I didn't like looking at it. As I said, had I not known the date, I'd feel like it was much earlier. I mean, for all I know, maybe they created it a long time ago and they just didn't release it until the 1960s. I have no information to support that, but that could be the case. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if Seamus Culhane was working for Famous Studios at the very beginning or near the very beginning. But either way, it's it's not great in terms of the animation, but the message is pretty beautiful. So I recommend it if it sounds like it would appeal to you. But if you're looking for something that's visually really brilliant, then Think or Sync is not the best option.